You want shirts? I got shirts. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, I want to discuss a couple of heroes that will absolutely not be a waste of resources. So, the reason why I'm making this video is to solve a problem that I've been seeing a lot lately, and that is new players that have access to my content, that have access to these Discord pages and Facebook pages and all of these spreadsheets, all of this great information about how to build a correct team, but maybe you can't decide what team you like yet. Maybe you can't build the team that you want to build because you don't have the heroes yet. But there, there might be a lot of reasons, but the, the thing that I want to accomplish with this video is to discuss a handful of heroes that you could safely invest resources into that will not be a waste should any of the previous examples describe you. You're just not sure what team you want to go with or you just don't have the heroes yet. So I've got a couple of heroes and then a couple of honorable mentions if you're lucky enough to have those heroes. We're going to uh, quickly discuss um, the uh, the free heroes and then the honorable mentions are ones that are going to be a little harder to get. So I want to start with the tank Astaroth. Now you get Astaroth day one playing this game. You get him relatively early. I think it's you know pretty pretty early in, in chapter one. And Astaroth is um, arguably the best tank in the game, if not the top three tanks in the game. And the reason why I'm saying Astaroth more than anything is of the free tanks that you get day one, that is Galahad, Astaroth, and Aurora, Astaroth is the most likely to end up in one of your three grand arena teams. Galahad, could end up in one of your three Grand Arena teams, so could Aurora, but Astaroth is almost guaranteed to be in your top 15, your top three teams of five. So it's for this reason that I want to start with Astaroth. He's probably the, the best overall investment in the game right now. Uh, I want to quickly follow that up with the uh, with another campaign hero that you get in Chapter 3, I believe, and that is Kira. Now, Kira is a physical damage dealer, and there are a lot of great damage dealers available to you uh, early on in the campaign. You've got Ginger, you've got Artemis, you've got Fox, uh, a couple other heroes. I think you can get Darkstar relatively early in the campaign. Um, actually, I'm not sure when you can get her. I think actually it's I think actually she's a uh, she's a vendor hero. But Kira is, Kira is another one of those heroes that will very 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 likely end up being in one of your three grand arena teams. And she does pair well with Astaroth. There are better teams for her, better tanks for her, I should say. But it is it is highly likely that Kira, being one of the top physical damage dealers in the game, will end up as one of your top 15 heroes. And you would not be wasting resources by putting resources into Kira. She'll definitely find a home in your teams somewhere. Very, very strong damage dealing hero, very strong hero. The third hero that I want to talk about is the uh it's it's an outland merchant hero and that is jorgen and jorgen is arguably the best arena hero in the game you can get him for effectively for free you spend 500 uh, outland coins to buy five of his soul stones so you can summon him pretty quickly for relatively inexpensive once you unlock outland and start defeating outland bosses which i'll touch on that in just a second actually but <clears throat> of the of the merchant heroes of the of all of the merchants the arena the grand arena the tower the friendship shop the highwayman shop if you're on uh, mobile the outland shop the guild war shop of all of these heroes uh, I, I believe that Jorgen is probably the best bet if you're trying to find a place to spend resources. Jorgen, Astaroth, top top heroes in the game, for sure. I don't care what your tier list says. They're extremely flexible heroes. They will find a home in your top 15 heroes. Now, the next hero that I want to discuss, you could go two directions with this. And one is going to really depend on whether or not you can successfully clear the tower each day. So... The hero that I'm talking about is Orion. Now, Orion is a magical damage dealer, and he's not as popular on the magic damage dealing side as Kira is on the physical damage dealing side. But what Orion offers is incredible boss damage. He's great in the campaign. He's great in the tower. He's great in Outland. He does a lot of great damage. And there are some in-game teams that use Orion. There's a couple of twins teams. That's Lars and Krista. There's a couple of uh, pure mage teams using him, Helios, Dorian, 
Uh, Orion is a great damage dealer. He can be countered just like any hero can, but I feel like his his usefulness, his utility is very high, and he's another free hero, quote-unquote free. You have to spend tower coins for him. So great, great opportunity to spend resources right here. You might end up really liking Orion. I think Orion's a really cool hero to build a team around. Will he end up in your top 15 of uh, Grand Arena teams, uh, your three teams of five? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But one thing is for sure, he will do very well for you in Outland. He'll do very well for you in the campaign. The other side of that coin, we're going to call this an honorable mention, is, uh, th this is the, um, excuse me, I should say the first honorable mention, is Mojo. Now, Mojo is a campaign hero, and he's not great at all in PvP. He's okay in PvP, but he's not that great in Arena and Grand Arena. What he is good at is fighting bosses. He's good at the tower. He's good at Outland. He's good at the campaign. Okay, so Mojo... I probably wouldn't invest a lot into him, but he would be a safe investment overall. And like I mentioned, he will be a key contributing factor to defeating bosses in Outland, and he could be a key contributing factor to beating some of the tougher bosses in the campaign. So one to keep in mind, I'm not sure if, if I would suggest getting him from the get-go, maybe focus on the other three instead, that is Astaroth, Kira, and Jorgen. Um, and if you can get Orion, Orion is a better mojo in all respects. Mo uh, Orion is found in in-game team compositions for Arena, and mo I'm sorry, Orion probably is a better bet against Outland bosses, campaign bosses, and the tower. Okay, so a couple other honorable mentions that I want to talk about. First, let's talk about Nebula. Now, Nebula can be had on mobile if you have a guild that is earning silver trophies. So if you can purchase Nebula Soul Stones and you're in a guild that is earning silver trophies each week, then Nebula is probably another top three, top five investment heroes. The reason why she's not in the first list of, of three to four heroes that I mentioned is because most people don't have access to Nebula. There is only a handful of uh, there is only a handful of teams that are getting silver uh, silver Guild War trophies or gold, of course. And if you're not getting those trophies, then you're not getting access to Nebula, and then you're not able to invest resources into Nebula. So I, I didn't want this to, to be a list for new players that people, you know, maybe or maybe not can get. But if you do have Nebula, she's a very safe investment. Of course, on Facebook, she's incredibly easy to get. All you have to do is compete every day in the Tournament of the Elements. You'll get uh, Tournament of the Elements scrolls um, that you can then turn around and invest at the Merchant for, um, I believe they're called Elemental Tournament Certificates, that you can turn around and buy Nebula Soul Stones. Usually get at least two a week. You can buy 10 Nebula Soul Stones a week. She's a high, high, uh, high used hero. She will be in your top 15 heroes for sure. So if you have access to Nebula, dump resources into Nebula. The other two heroes are Martha and Celeste. Now, Martha is arguably one of the best heroes, I'm sorry, best healers in the game. Definitely top three healers in the game. She will be in one of your Grand Arena teams. However, you can only get her soul stones from the daily heroic chest, which is luck and random, or during an event. Okay, so if you were fortunate enough to have Martha, maybe you just got her in this most recent Marcus slash Martha event, either on Facebook or mobile, she's a safe bet to invest resources into. She will be in your top five team, or if not your top five team, then your second or third team. 100% she will be there. And then finally, Celeste. Similar to Martha, the only way to get Celeste soul stones is to one, get her soul stones out of the daily heroic chest, which is again, random. Two, you can get her from the campaign. If you're uh, if you're on uh, if you're on Facebook, you can get her from the uh, chapter. I believe it's chapter fourteen. You, that's the only place you can earn her. Or three, you can buy her by by making two purchases. Uh, whenever you first start the game, you make one purchase. Her um, an option to buy her will show up, and then you can you know spend a couple more dollars and get her in that way. So you can buy her. You can earn her very late in the campaign, or you can randomly get her out of the heroic chest. But that being said, if you do get access to Celeste, it would not be a waste of resources to invest in her. She will be in your top five team. She's, I'm sorry, not your top five team. She might be in your top five team. <laughs> she will be in your top 15 of all of your heroes. She does well in the tower. She does well in the campaign. She does well in Outland. So invest in her. So just a quick recap of my list. 
for free to play on the free uh, on the free to play side, that would be Astaroth, Kira, Jorgen, and then we talk about either Orion or Mojo. Okay, I would prefer Orion if you're clearing the tower each day. If you're not clearing the tower each day, then Mojo is fine. And then finally, Martha, Celeste, and Nebula as honorable mentions only if you have them. So, I hope this list of heroes will be a nice base to your team if you haven't quite figured out what team that's going to be maybe you want to build a kark team maybe you want to build a lars krista team maybe you're trying to build a nice solid kira team i don't know what team you're wanting to build everybody likes different things personally i'm more of a hybrid build i know my uh some of my subscribers prefer the kira team and that's a pure physical team some of my subscribers prefer lars krista which is a pure magic team some people like timeout teams some people like heavily control teams I'm not sure what kind of player you are. Maybe you're not sure yet either. This list of seven to eight heroes will be safe investments. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like getting back to these new player, helpful, insightful kind of videos. And because of that, I've got on screen a couple of my older videos helping in particular new players. So please check those out if you have some time now. If you don't, that's fine as well. I will love you either way. Good luck in Dominion.